I love the solace, you know, in, in a museum or a gallery. Uh, yeah, I love, I, I grew up going to museums and I love art. The art that's had the most influence on me, nobody knows about, really. Um, my, my grandmother, my dad's mother was a painter and I grew up surrounded by her paintings. Um, and when I was a little girl, I would sit with her on the porch at her house and she'd paint all day. And so, you know, I, was, I just grew up around a lot of, a lot of painters and uh, they had a big influence on me. It's really impossible for me to choose between film and theater. Um, I find I sort of long for one when I, I haven't gotten to do it in a while. I haven't done a play in three years now. I really miss it. And also just getting to dig into something over a long period of time like that, get, getting another shot at a scene how the day you've lived informs what you do that night. I just, I love living in it like that. But one of the things that's so lovely about being on set or working on a film is the real world sort of disappears and the world of the film is all there is, you know. I, I love that kind of focus and kind of going down that rabbit hole or something. And with a group of people, you know, you've got these, this great sort of company. The whole process, auditioning for and getting hired uh, by Paul. You know, it's one of the most exciting things that's ever happened to me in my life. And you know, making the movie, it was hard not to be sort of nostalgic even while we were making it, because I knew it was going to end, you know. It's kind of like falling in love with a soldier going up to war. There's something bittersweet about it, you know, because especially if you've been at it a while, as I have, and, I was acutely aware of what a special and rare opportunity it was. You know, I was aware of it while it was happening. So, you, you know, you try to not miss anything. <laughs>